Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is a pick a card tarot reading. And this reading is going to be about the current feelings of the person on your mind. And each morning, I like to listen to music. That is just how I like to start my day. So this particular reading was inspired by the song A Lack of Color by Death Cab for Cutie. This song came out in 2003, and it's one that I basically listened to on repeat so many years ago. And I really love this song. I think it's a beautiful song with beautiful lyrics. And so it inspired today's reading. It has so much feeling in it, but that feeling is about regret. It's about uh, maybe, you know, once someone has left your life, how you think about what you could have done differently. So that is what it has inspired these readings today. Since it's a pick a card tarot reading, I just want you to take a look at these piles now and, you know, Take a moment and see which pile you are drawn to. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. So I will be sure to put timestamps in the description box of this video, as well as down in the comment section for your convenience. Of course, feel free to listen to all three readings if you would like, and just take anything from these readings that resonate with you. So let's go ahead and get started with pile number one. Hello to all of you who picked pile number one. So let's take a look at the current feelings of the person who is on your mind right now. Okay, so we have here in the main theme, trapped in fear. Let's get more information here. We have accelerated motion and we have material and spiritual prosperity. And then on this side, we have stand your ground and the waiting game. All right, so I feel like current feelings of the person on your mind is that they're kind of stuck in this prison of their own thoughts at this current time. Um, it looks like the relationship that you had with this person could have moved very quickly. And I feel like you guys could have had a lot of plans for the future when it comes to, you know, uh, bringing out prosperity. Okay. But now this person's been stuck in this pattern of their own thinking. And because of this, they're in this, um, they are in this energy of standing their own ground by simply waiting. So this person who, the current feelings of the person on your mind is just that they're, they've been thinking a lot about the relationship between the two of you, but in the current uh, situation, it feels like they're just kind of in this hermit mode where they're not going to really reach out. They're not reaching out. They're standing their ground and they're waiting for you. Let's see what else we have here. Seek the truth. So I feel like the reason that they're stuck in this prison of their thinking is because they're starting to see the truth in a, a situation here. Okay. All right. Over here, we have heal with the rest and reconsider card. So as this person who's on your mind is, you know, trying to seek truth within their thinking, uh, that's why we have this heal and the rest and reconsider card. And that is really why they're waiting right now. I feel like this person is in a pattern of healing right now. They are in this um, energy where they really don't want to reach out because they're in their own mind. They're in their own emotions and they're trying to heal from whatever it is that has taken place in this relationship. All right. Now over here we have rebuild and balance. 
I feel like if given the chance, they might want to start over or rebuild this relationship on a, um, you know, in a more balanced way than it was before. But again, this person is not seeking to do that at this time. They're simply waiting. It's almost like they're waiting for you to like come to the, your senses. You're, they're waiting for you to come. So I feel like, also I do feel like they're trying to rebuild their heart because they're very heartbroken in a certain way due to this relationship that had taken place. All right, I'm going to get a little clarity on this reading with the Rider Weight deck. I'm just going to give these cards a few shuffles and we're going to pull four cards uh, just for a little more clarity on this reading for you guys. All right, let's see what we have here. Oops. I want to shuffle three more times because I just went to cut the deck and I messed up and I just wanted to be correct. So three more shuffles, okay? All right, one more shuffle. Okay. We have the star as the first card that came out here. I do feel like this person is definitely thinking of you. You are their star. Um, you, their attention has been on you recently and justice. So I feel like they're definitely thinking of you and how you both could have received justice in the current um, or not the current, but in the past situation, they're currently thinking of how it could have been done differently. Like we said already, they're healing from this. They are still on the defensive. I feel like if you look at this card, there are two different shoes on the guy's feet. So I feel like they're still a little scattered in their thinking. Um, they're not really sure what they want from that connection. But I think it's more because they are still in that process of healing and learning from it. So they're still a little confused. Again, the main theme here is trapped in fear, which is really just a card about being stuck in your own thinking. And we have the four of pentacles uh, as the final card here for the clarification. So I definitely feel like this person who's on your mind wanted you all to themselves but it's like they didn't know how to create that situation for themselves when um, the time was right, you know? All right, now I'm going to pull a card for this. Um, this, <laughs> a card. <laughs> this is another deck. This is a deck that I created. It's It just has different music on each card. So I'm going to pull a song for this connection um, to see what how that might speak to you. Oh my gosh, you guys, two of them came out. A Lack of Color is the first one. This is the exact song that inspired this entire reading. So, A Lack of Color by Death Cab for Cutie is one of them. And um, the lyric that comes to my mind is, I should have given you a reason to stay. So they wanted to... They wish they would have done something differently in the connection to give you a reason to stay. And the second card that came out was Say by John Mayer. So there's definitely something they want to say to you. But again, they're in this waiting game. They're not really going to come out and say it. Uh, they're afraid. Kind of like the lyrics of that song. They're kind of afraid to speak their truth. Um, because they're maybe afraid of the way that you might receive that truth. All right, I'm going to finish this reading by pulling three cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And this is just some advice for you in regards to this connection, the current, uh, the feelings of the person on your mind. So this is going to be advice for you regarding that person that is on your mind. One more shuffle. All right. So first we have the yin card. This is all about receptivity. This is being receptive. This is trying to... 
I feel like it's just that energy of receiving truth from the connection. Next, we have all that glitters. I think that what this card is saying is that what's really coming out for me, energetically speaking, when it comes to this person on your mind is that you are both kind of like stuck in this trying to look a certain way to the people on the outside, or maybe part of why they weren't receptive to you is simply because they were um, almost egotistical. That's the vibe I'm getting. And look, finally time for a nap. I do believe that I just heard that this person dreams about you. Um, but also time for a nap is basically saying it that it's important for both of you to really assimilate what has taken place because your dream time is the time for your mind to reconcile things that you've been through. So I do feel like you're also in the same boat almost as the person on your mind with your current feelings. So both people here are trying to come to this uh, place of balance and healing regarding what has taken place. So it's just going to be important for you guys, for both of you really, to pull learning from this and whatever it is that you can learn as a human and as a soul, whatever it is that you can learn from the connection that, that existed between you, uh, you can then basically become a better person and move forward in your life with what you've learned. So that way, this whole connection is not a waste. You actually can learn from it and literally have better connections in future relationships. All right, pile number one, that wraps it up for your reading. Be sure to click the like button if you like this reading and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much for being here and spending some time with me. I love you. And now it's time to move on to pile number two. Hello to all of you who picked pile number two. So let's take a look at these cards and see what are the current feelings of the person on your mind right now. All right. So memories of love. This person's been thinking about you for sure. Okay. So over here we have the sacral chakra card and the power card. And over here we have recognition and reward and the solar plexus. I definitely feel like this person, when they think of you, they see you as someone who's very creative and who can stand in their own power. So someone who has um, basically learned to, <laughs> someone who either they've taught you or you taught them how to stand in their own personal power here. And also they are, they're feeling like very confident about where they are now based on the connection that they had with you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we have. Down here, we have the listen card. Um, that's right under memories of love. So I feel like they're really listening to those memories. Um, I feel like you guys might have children together as well because the sacral chakra and the coming together, as you can see in this card, they're both kind of holding their hands out with this little a pearl or ball of light with a little heart. So I do feel like with that being under the sacral chakra, there may be children involved in the connection. All right. So the person on your mind thinks a lot about you and the connection that you had. Okay. Now there is a challenge. The challenging times here card is telling me that anytime that there are challenges in the connection of between you and the person on your mind, the challenges are connected to how are connected to basically untamed ego. That's that's what I'm hearing right now. It's an untamed ego. So anytime you had challenges, arguments, uh, look at him, hold the shield in front of him, right? So anytime that uh, you guys had a challenge or obstacle in the relationship, it was really just due to that inner beast that is untamed, okay? 
And then over here, we have change your focus. And oh my gosh, solar plexus and solar plexus. Look at that. I feel like this connection has helped you to listen to your inner self. You're able to look within and instead of seeing challenges, you're changing your focus now. You're looking at yourself and what may, no, I'm sorry. They're looking at their self and what they need to change in order to make this connection better and in order to stand more in their personal power. Cause here we have solar plexus doubled up. I think that's amazing. So Really, this connection, the, per, the current feelings of the person on your mind is that while they do think of the connection quite a bit, they have a more of a focus on what they need, what they need to do to increase their own personal power, what they need to do to recognize where they want to go and what they want to focus on in life. The current feelings of the person on your mind is really that they're using this connection to help them become a better version of themselves, to be honest. All right, you guys, I'm going to shuffle the Rider Weight deck a few times, and I'm going to get a little clarity on this reading for all of you who picked pile number two. Okay, let's see what we got here. First, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. I do feel like there is some kind of... Well, let's just get more clarity and I'll, I'll expand. Okay, we have Ace of Cups. That one is also reversed. Queen of Cups is upright. That makes a lot of sense with the Listen and the Memories of Love card. And the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So, yeah, I do feel like they're... With the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups being reversed, I do feel like um, as they think on this connection, the current feelings of the person on your mind are just that they're not really sure where you stand as far as, like, your passions you know, and uh, how you're feeling about them. They're not real sure if you have the same feelings that they do, um, but they do have a lot of memories. They they think about it a lot. Um, they're constantly daydreaming of the what has passed. But then over here with the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like their focus has moved now more into their work and... Uh, Kind of, like I said, how they can improve themselves, how they can see recognition and reward in their own life, change their focus and increase their personal power. So that's all confirming what was already said in the beginning of this reading. All right. Now I'm going to take the music cards I made and I'm just going to see what song comes out for the connection here in pile number two about their current feelings for you. All right, let's get a song. Okay. Whoa, that was too many. Gotta try again. Hold on. All right, let's get a song for the current feelings of the person on your mind. Ugh. Well, I just dropped a whole bunch again, so give me a minute while I try to get you guys one or two songs to pop out. There we go. Old Church Choir by Zach Williams. I love that. So... This person is trying to really change their focus. They are trying to uh, think positively because this song is about an old church choir singing in my head. So it's like it's bringing that um, 
spiritual feel good feeling throughout the whole week. Right. So I feel like this song, this being the song for the connection, they definitely feel they feel good about the connection. You make them feel good, but they're really in the process of making their focus be about a positive mindset for themselves moving forward. Okay. So I feel like they do, like I said, use this connection as inspiration for that in some way. All right. Now I'm just going to give the wisdom of the oracle a few shuffles and I'm going to give you some advice regarding the connection here between you and the person on your mind just to close out this reading. I've got an old church choir singing in my soul. I got a sweet salvation and it's beautiful. All right. First one is by the book. <laughs> Card number one. Card number two is peace. See, they are trying to find that level of inner peace. And finally, we have between worlds. All right. So I definitely see that there was a lot of growth in this connection. There is a lot of growth in this connection that is helping, again, them to find inner peace with themselves. But they're still currently in between worlds right now. They're in between, like, the old ways and the new ways. And so, really, um, the advice for this connection is just to give them room to grow, room to be the powerful version of themselves that they want to become. Because... Currently, they're in the process of creating it, but they're just in between the old and the new. So um, I believe that the current feelings of the person on your mind is really more focused on their own inner peace and taking what they've learned to move forward into basically a new way of being, okay? But you've definitely helped them to get to this point of uh, self-betterment, I guess you could say and inner peace. So the connection is something they think about, but in terms of what they want and um, basically also in ways, they think about it in a way like um, how you've helped them to create this desire within themselves to be better. All right, pile number two, that pretty much wraps it up for your reading today. Don't forget to click the like button for me and comment down below if this reading resonates with you. Thank you all so much for being here and spending your time with me. I love you. And now it's time to move on to pile number three. Hello to all of you who picked pile number three. So this reading is about the current feelings of the person who's been on your mind. So let's take a look here. And now we have solitude. This person's been spending a lot of time alone lately. Let's see what else we have. Passion ignited. And love begins. Okay. Right away, I'm just getting this vibe that this could be obviously like a past relationship because I do feel like um, with these two number ones, I do feel like this person was very passionate about the connection and they may have fallen in love very quickly, but now they're feeling alone and in solitude, but we have this emotional loss card and prosperity begins another number one. We have number one, number one, and number one. So they're currently in solitude so maybe this connection is no longer, but it's someone who's been on your mind. Um, but I do feel like their current obstacle right now is just feeling like they've lost something emotionally, feeling very heartbroken. But this heartbreak is leading to a new beginning where they can find love again and they can reignite their passion. But they have to spend some time in, in solitude right now to kind of get over this emotional loss because that's the obstacle they're facing. All right. Believe and succeed. So that is like, they they definitely have a belief in a certain direction that they want to go in their life. All right. So that could be why that there's an emotional loss taking place here. Because their current feelings are that they fell in love because of how much you connected with their 
compassion, okay? Over here, we have spread your wings and reach out. So I do feel like... I feel like their current feelings, too, are that they they were given this sense of freedom within this connection, okay? So that's why with the spread your wings card. And then with the reach out, it's like, again, this person's sitting alone, but I feel like they are thinking of reaching out in some way, you know? Look, emotional loss is lining up with sadness and isolation. So I do feel like they reached out. They tried to create a relationship based on some love that they felt. And they believed that it could lead somewhere. But now they're in solitude because they have this sadness and isolation and emotional loss. And over here we have awaiting results. Look, prosperity begins. is like you plant the seed. And then awaiting results. It's like you plant. they planted the seed. Now they just, they're waiting they're waiting for something to blossom. So the feelings of the person on your mind right now are that while they feel alone, they have hope for the future in this connection, but they are in this sense of sadness at this current time regarding this situation. And maybe it's just because they are so in love, but like they feel like you're not reaching out to them. And so that's giving them this sense of solitude, isolation, and emotional loss. So I feel like they've planted seeds and now they're just waiting for them to grow. And in some way, it's it's creating this isolation and sadness, that feeling of sadness. But they still hold a lot of belief in where this could go, okay? Now I'm going to shuffle the Rider Weight deck. And we're going to pull some cards for a little clarity on this reading for you guys who picked pile number three. One more shuffle. Okay, so first we have the seven of cups, and that one is reversed. I feel like what is taking place here is that they feel like they're being treated as an option here instead of as the choice. Do you know what I mean? So then we have the page of swords. I do feel like they're watching you. They're paying attention to what's been going on because they're in this uh, very emotional place and feeling lonely. So they've been watching. And then we have the temperance card. So I do feel like um, as they watch you, that's giving them a sense of balance. It's giving them hope uh, that balance will come. Okay. But then we have this judgment card and it's reversed. All right, so with the judgment card being reversed, I I do feel like they know that some kind of rebirth has to take place in this connection, okay? So I feel like, um, yeah, this person is just really sad and they're feeling like things just didn't work out and it's not working out for them because they feel like they're just, they feel like they are an option and not a choice. All right, I'm going to pull a song from my little music deck here that I made for this connection about the current feelings of the person on your mind. Ooh, we got two of them. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Elephant Love Medley. This is from the movie Moulin Rouge. Um, basically, if you've not seen it or heard it, it's a medley of different songs. And within the songs, it tells a little story where at first the man wants the woman really badly and she's trying to deny him. But eventually... He keeps singing to her and she starts to agree with him that love is a good thing rather than a bad thing, right? And the second song was, I want to dance with somebody. So I feel like the person, the current feelings of the person on your mind is that like they may have been discontent in love in some way, but they still want somebody in their life. They want someone to connect them to that passion again, to that love. They want to feel alive and they want to feel alive through a connection with someone. That is the current feeling of the person on your mind. All right, pile number three. Now we're just going to shuffle the wisdom of the oracle. And I'm going to pull three cards as advice for you uh, regarding this connection here. The, 
regarding the person that's currently on your mind. Okay, so here we have community is the first one. Second card is to the sea. And the last one is Yang. All right. So I do feel like um, with the to the sea card being right in the middle, I feel like there's this sense of for the advice here is just like when this girl is out here alone in the sea, I feel like without lining up with the solitude card as well, uh, being alone has made like the perspective maybe change a little bit. You see some binoculars in the image, but there's also this here. Um, what is it like a weather main or something showing what direction to go? So I feel like this time of solitude has given you both a chance to see what direction you want to go and even to see this relationship from a different perspective. And over here we have the community card because it's important to reach out to each other. I think you both want to reach out in some way because each of you feel kind of at home in your presence, like in a community, right? But then over here we have the yang energy. So I do feel like some action needs to be taken in some way in regards to this connection. So for you, the the one listening to this reading, I feel like if you have changed your perspective after a time of solitude and that is the direction you want to go, it's going to be important for you to be the one to take action steps towards that because the current feelings of the person on your mind is that they are alone, they're isolated, and they're sad. But it's because that's just the way they felt due to the connection. You know what I mean? But I still feel like they can definitely, like the elephant love medley, if it's a connection that you want, it's something that they really want too. But it's like you need to talk it out. All right, pile number three. If you like this video, please be sure to click the like button down below. And Feel free to leave me a comment letting me know if this reading resonates with you. Thank you all so much for being here and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.